What's going on, everyone? My name is Chris. I'm here with Kathy and Reese, and we go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube, and we have another video for you today. It is Friday, and actually, it's been kind of a crazy day. This morning, we went to a couple uh, estate sales, found some stuff. We'll show you guys that, I think, at the second half of the video. You want to do it the first half? Yeah. We'll do that the first half of the video. <laughs> and... Uh, yeah, we got home. We were going to have a uh, Whataburger, right? Like we were going up to these estate sales. They're far away. The Whataburger's far away. And we went to go get Whataburger. <laughs> Whataburger? <laughs> Whataburger for lunch. And they had plumbing issues. So they were closed. Like it's a brand new restaurant. I think they flooded. So that sucks. We didn't get to experience Whataburger for the first time. We'll have to go back another day. And then we get home and we're working away and our kid's school calls or emails us saying that there's a fire <laughs> and we need to go pick up our kids. Not a fire in the school. There's a fire in the field a little bit away from the school, but it's a really windy day and dry. So had to evacuate the kids. <laughs> so they're out playing with their friends. We're not anywhere near the fire where we live. So we're good. So we're going to start picking what's sold for us after all that adventure today. <laughs> Yeah, so other than go to those things and kind of come home, print labels, um, that's about all we've done. Yeah, right? it's one of those days where we've been Got running all day. Don't want to touch on <laughs> Okay, yeah, so uh, we didn't get a ton at the estate sales. They were just not really the kind of stuff. I like to look for shoes and clothes, and there wasn't a ton of that at either of them. Yeah. We did run into a viewer. I didn't get your name. Yeah, I didn't catch your name either. I never ask people's name. <laughs> Tell me your name if you guys ever run into me. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah. So, yeah, I, I always go, like, straight for the closets, for the shoes and the clothes, mm -hmm. and uh, the viewer that we ran into was in there. Um, so I found these. I I don't know what they are. They're like, this is the brand UIN. I don't know if it's just if you say it UIN or, or what. I've only sold them one other time, um, and the ones I sold were pre-owned. These are technically new tag, but there's a couple, like, spots on them looks like they might have been stepped on or something so anyways, other shoes think, thrown on them in the closet yeah, maybe i think yeah. i can get like 40 bucks out of them this estate sale was kind of pricey compared to most we go to the shoes were ten dollars which obviously i still paid but mm -hmm. so i think i can turn 10 into 40 on those nice and then at that same estate sale i did end up finding these in the last couple of minutes before we left um just some new in package cd players it's funny because I, I was looking at that table. I was look, there was like camera lenses, yeah. and I was looking up, <laughs> and I saw those. I just didn't even look them up. Yeah, because we kind of look for Sony, and they're yeah. not Sony. But honestly, this one might sell for like seventy dollars plus shipping. It's nice. just insignia. insignia, only because it's new in package. Like the pre-owned ones were not going for that much. Mm -hmm. This one, I think maybe twenty to twenty-five. Jensen. Yeah, so they were five bucks each. Um, you know, we already drove all the way out there. Yeah. So I was trying to like maximize as much as we could make. Yeah. Yeah, so, and the nice thing with those, they're sealed. So, yeah. you know, you take front back picture yeah, and I'll list these it. Off with, if you didn't know, like a hair dryer, well, if it's sticky. Hair dryer. We also use uh, they, Goo Gone. Like they pull right off, but. Yeah. Goof off is the one that's very abrasive, but Goo Gone is pretty. Yep, so a hair dryer, Scotty Peeler, if you, if it's not as Yeah. But yeah, so that was the first estate sale, and then the other one was a couple miles away from it found these two vintage sweaters uh, this one's just michael gerald it's um and it's an acrylic sweater so not like wool or anything but it's a cool pattern um the clothes at this one were three dollars if it wasn't individually priced so three bucks i think i can turn that into at least 25 maybe 30. you know i i pulled that sweater <laughs> out did. and i looked at it and i was like i don't recognize this name it's, it's probably worth because, nothing <laughs> <laughs> well we usually split up at a state sales because yeah. he'll look for like tools grudge stuff and i look for clothes and shoes mm -hmm. but then he made it to this area before me um <laughs> i said did we already go upstairs he's like i looked through i was like is there clothes or shoes he's like yeah i don't think you want anything so <laughs> and then i found these two things so i was like i better go look because yeah you don't pick the same kind of stuff i do that's right the same as if i walked into the garage <laughs> i miss all the good stuff yeah and we showed up to these estate sales yeah. they opened up an hour and a half or so before we got there yeah they opened at eight we yeah. have to take our kids to school at 8 30 ish so yeah we got there probably 9 30 10 so so this is stuff that we picked, you know, yeah, hour and a half after. Yeah, we may have missed. Mm -hmm. This one, it's, this is a brand custom made by Mary. So I just thought it was cool. It is missing a size, and I was, actually, I didn't see this stain while I 
was there, I might have passed on it just because the no size was already kind of like one strike. Yeah. It was such a nice sweater, and it feels like wool for sure, but I don't know. I'll still make some money on it. <laughs> Normally, I can sell a sweater like this for $30 to $40 plus shipping, but with the spot now and the non-size, I don't know. I'll be happy if I can get 20 out of that now. And then this was maybe the find of the day. Yeah, probably. Oh. <laughs> Some very heavy Salomon ski boots. Yeah, um, these these are like the real deal. Like yeah. these toggles are all So I looked solid at the metal. Impact 8. These cost like 500 bucks new. Yeah. And you can see they were only asking 10 bucks for them. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, they're a little scuffed. I think a lot of that will come off with some of the goof off. Magic but eraser honestly, or like something, the yeah. inside, which, you know, where you put your foot is actually in really good shape. And the ones I was looking up for comps, the bottoms are even more scuffed up than this. So I think these are actually in really good shape. Yeah. The so 10 into, I think, around 80, 60 to 100. Plus shipping? Because those are yeah. going to be expensive Plus to shipping. ship, right? Yeah. Yeah, so not too bad. Um, it's, I hate, like, photographing this kind of <laughs> stuff, but... I'm going to do it, you know, again, yeah. we drove there, so I wanted to find some stuff. Yeah, and we did go through all this stuff just to make sure it was all working. And it is if I'm using two hands. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah. Not the worst day. We didn't get any footage up there. We should have, man. It was a beautiful neighborhood. So. Yeah. So. Monument, Colorado. They were both up in Monument. Well, I guess one was more like Palmer Lake. Yeah. So there's, it's called the Tri Lakes area. There's a couple lakes up there, just a few like lakes. You're driving through a forest. Yeah. yeah. So that's just beautiful place, yeah. beautiful homes. <sighs> but I was okay driving up because I love the Goodwill up there. And I was like, I'll at least find something there if we don't find anything at the state sale. So yeah. I did find some shoes at Goodwill. I found some Bass Gore-Tex, just like a hiking shoe for men. These will probably sell for around $50 plus shipping. This brand, if you don't know it, that's kind of their symbol, and it's Kuru. So, and these are, like, almost, like, really good. Like, they might have been worn once. And these are a women seven and a half. I think I can get around 40 or so plus ship out of those. These, if anyone was looking, are 12 wide. Um, these are some Teva, Teva, <laughs> just like a women's hiking shoe. I think these are seven and a half, seven. So really good shape. Yeah. I'm um, probably going to get around 40 out of those. And I'll save the best for last. These are some Timberlands. These are actually pretty good. These are in really good shape. Um, size nine and a half women's, so... Yeah, really, really good shape. I think I can get 50 or to 60 out of those. We've got a couple of pairs of Skechers. These look basically new without box. Like the bottoms don't look like they've really been walked on. Size seven and a half. These will probably sell around 30. These ones are also Skechers, but they kind of have this cool. Oh my gosh. He <laughs> threw it across the room. <sighs> Anyways, some, these have like some rose detail. Are they like embroidered? Dust. Yeah, well, yeah. Embroidered and then a couple like bedazzled. <laughs> mm. Anyways, um, the comps on these I feel like were closer to 40. A uh, couple sold, and these are a good size, a women's 11. So that was a good one. And lastly, this was made the whole trip worth it, honestly. A pair of Rothy's. <laughs> um, never found a sneakers like this before. I think all the ones I've sold have been flat, so yeah, these are a woman's nine. Uh, obviously, they're pretty dirty, but Rothy's are machine washable shoes. I wash a lot of shoes in the machine anyways, but these mm -hmm. are specifically kind of made for that, so hopefully some of that dirt will come off. I mean, I didn't look up the specific model, but Rothy's, I would assume, I don't know, at, at least, like, even with dirtiness, like 60, hmm. uh, I don't know. Some can go upwards. You Some know, I've can sold go for one like pair for like 150. Yeah, so. but those were like a special color that they didn't make anymore. These Discontinued, are just like kind yeah. of a white sneaker. Although I don't know if they make these right now. I don't know. Yeah, we'll have to look and see if they're. <laughs> they were Rothy, so I kind of like squealed inside silently and threw them <laughs> in my car and mm. ran away. But <laughs> so yeah, not a terrible morning. Yeah. Worth it for sure. Yep. And yeah, then I came home and we actually had a bunch of sales, lots of viewer sales, so thank you guys in <laughs> advance. Um, 
So yeah, let's pull those. Starting in box, oh, I didn't pull any of the kids stuff out yet. So I might as well just tell you about it. <laughs> Uh, this is something I bought for my son. It's L.L. Bean. We ended up not wearing it. So I sold it on Kitizen for 25 free shipping. I did pay like $17 for this on Facebook Marketplace though. So I think I'm actually losing a dollar after shipping and fees. But I'm glad to just resell that. Get my bunny mailers. Oh yeah, shipping hips mailers came out today. And yeah. I haven't even had a chance to really kind of sit and order mine yet. <laughs> I'm gonna order probably gonna be Even sold though out. I don't need to order them. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna order some. Um, I hope they're not sold out of the suns. Those are the ones I wanted the most. What's up? Hey, we see. Oh, I don't have anything. <laughs> I was just saying, hey, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so, that one. Then we had, you okay? All right, uh, viewers so going out to Holly. So, basket. Oh yeah. Holly bought the Hello Kitty cake pan and CK. Let me go, Holly. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, just kind of tape this shut. Enough for it to stay in that basket, but the Hello Kitty cake pan, I will put some bubble wrap around that. It's very lightweight, but it's kind of like easy to bend yeah so it's very malleable it. yeah like i know i shipped my last wilton cake pan in a mailer but i'm not gonna <laughs> do that with this one luckily it's so lightweight even with the box it's mm -hmm. it's gonna ship for the box, so. which funny thing wasn't your last wilton pan pocahontas yeah <laughs> and you got the oh, pocahontas <laughs> the yeah. miko from funny. pocahontas so that's funny yeah and then we'll just put that in there as well so thank you so much holly you you. She bought these for um, $30.52 plus shipping. Both of those came from the bins. I had $1.97 into each piece. Awesome. So, yeah, thank you so much, Holly. She said she loves the spreadsheet and just loves our videos. So. Holly, thank, thank you so much for that amazing support. We appreciate it. All right, DG. If you do bake uh, a Hello Kitty cake, yeah, show us Kathy picture. would love to see it on Instagram. <laughs> I don't bake anything. I just <laughs> buy it from Kendra or somebody else. <laughs> Kendra's Cakes? Or, yeah. or cook, what is it? Kendra? I think it's Kendra's Cakes. Is it cakes? Even though she makes a lot of cookies. Well, I like the cookies. Yeah. I don't know could if she, she mail us Could a she cake, mail right? us a cake? Kendra, mail us a cake. Right. Maybe she can mail us some cupcakes <laughs> with, like, frosting separate, and then we, like, assemble it. <laughs> All this talking about cake yeah. is making me want cake now. No business idea. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, I did sell this Cabela's. If you watched our live, this kind of sold last night while we were living. If the, is that a word? Live. Streaming. <laughs> um, we're sorry. always living. <laughs> Living. <laughs> uh, I bought this for four ninety nine. Sold it for twenty eight dollars plus shipping and just a few days of being listed. And that is under a pound, although it's a little larger. So let's do one of these mailers. All right. So another viewer sale, probably every other sale or so is going to be a viewer sale. You guys bought so much from us <laughs> today. Today. Right. DQ. Where are you at? All right, this is going out to Sarah. And I bought from her before too on Kitizen. Um, a peak, no, not peak. I feel like I bought maybe peak from her. I don't know. I bought something <laughs> from her. I know I, I know I did. Um, this is Cat and Jack, so the Target brand kids clothes. It's a really cool math shirt. Our son like is super good at math and he loves math. So mm -hmm. I loved the shirt for him, but he has outgrown it. And I sold it to Sarah for ten dollars free shipping on Kitizen. Um, I don't remember if I bought that at Target or bought it off Kitizen, but. Yeah, I'm making back probably around $5 after shipping it to her. So thank you so much, Sarah. Sarah, thank you so much for that support. I hope you enjoy the yeah, shirt. Yeah, she said her kids will love that. So. Okay, Box X Converse. These are from Utah. The saver's there for $3 um, and then sold for $14 plus shipping. That was an offer I sent. I'm okay with the fast sale on these. Probably could have got up to 18 if I, you know, kind of held out for a few more dollars, but I'd rather have that fast sale. Ship goes out in a poly. Is he doing something weird? He's being weird. I wonder if he can smell, smell the fire, fire or something. Yeah. Aww. He's being a little weird. I feel like I smell it a little bit right <laughs> now. A little anxious. 
You okay, Baba? <laughs> you okay? He's like, a treat will make me feel better. <laughs> yeah, um, I feel like this next one is in here. It's, we just listed this last night on the live. This is going out to Angela. Thank you, Angela. <laughs> um, the Chico's. Snow uh, leopard print, that's what. Yeah, it's. I bearded pokey tuber call was calling it. It feels like a t shirt, but it's like Pima cotton, so it's really soft. So, like, I don't know. I didn't know what to call it. <laughs> so, I think I called it a top. Hmm. Anyways, it's nice. It has pockets. I love pockets. So, thank you, Angela. Sent her an offer of 14 plus shipping on eBay, and she accepted, and I had $1.97 into that. So. Angela, thank you so much for that support. We yeah. appreciate it. And you're going to get a bunny mailer. <laughs> All right, D, D, I think. Yeah, D. <laughs> He's okay. He wants the tummy rub. Oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> all the way. Good boy. He's like, you're done? I wasn't done. <laughs> uh, this is a, that other pair of Lane Bryant that I was wearing in a video one day, and I said they're just a little too big. So these are some really nice soft, like, jeans, and I wish they would have fit, so... Sorry, Reese is licking himself in the background. I don't think anybody wants to see that. <laughs> Anyways, I had bought them for myself for two bucks, but since they didn't fit, I listed them, sold them for 19 plus shipping, so not too bad. Um, those are a Mercari, but actually, they get a bunny mailer. <laughs> it is going out FedEx, but I just want to use these mailers. All right, box H. A pair of Levi's jeans. I accepted an offer of 20 on Poshmark. I had 450 into them. And those I think I just bought because they were a larger size, like a 46 by something, which I don't see that size a whole lot. I, I don't swear. pick up like every pair of Levi's. Let me see. Okay, he is baby. just. <laughs> I'll give you a treat, Bubba. Want a treat? Go get it. Oh, you sit. Oh, sitting like a good boy. That's a good boy. <laughs> now you can calm down, okay? <laughs> All right. Uh, another viewer sale, BR. Oh, this is going out to Jessica. She did say she's going to buy all our plush, so. <laughs> um, the cute little Manhattan toy company. I, I think they sell these at Target. I don't know if they sell them at other places, too. But I did pick that up at the bin, so dollar ninety-five into seven sixty-one plus shipping. So thank you so much, Jessica. Jessica, thank you so much for all the continued support. <laughs> Sorry, I folded him up kind of weird to try to fit in a normal mailer. Well, that's gonna be a rough ride for you, buddy. <laughs> Legs behind Not your head like that. I didn't decide what he was, but then his tag actually says he's a deer. So. A deer. Yeah. All right, uh, AJ. These were my personal jeans as well, and they didn't fit. Guys, I cannot ever find jeans <laughs> for myself. I actually had some on this morning, but then I spilled coffee on myself. So, <laughs> shout out Kristen at Earl Squirrel who bought us. Thanks, Dutch Kristen. Bros. <laughs> no. <laughs> she bought us Dutch Bros, but they kind of like, you know, when you get iced coffee, it always like is yeah, in the yeah. rim mm -hmm. and it just kind of leaks down slowly. That's so. like my biggest, like, yeah. pet peeve. I don't know. <laughs> it. it it there makes me so angry when I'm drinking coffee in a car <laughs> and a little bit drips out the lid and all over my shirt. <laughs> That's I hate that. So, anyways, thank you for the coffee, Kristen. I did actually. Well, I'm still drinking it. Yeah. I had to add my own milk and sugar because they didn't put enough in. <laughs> I don't know. I just I don't love Dutch Bros as much as Starbucks, but I appreciate. <laughs> yeah. You. Um, yeah, that does. Yeah, <laughs> we're not <laughs> blaming you for any no. of that. Thank you, Kristen, for that support. I wanted to try it. Like I was yeah. gonna try something different. It was something different. I still don't like it. Dutch <laughs> I just uh, think you don't like coffee. That might be. I do. I love I the vanilla know. sweet cream cold brew. And you get like Anyways. vanilla and sweet anyway. cream. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I do like just the cream mainly. Did I already say what these were? Tour jeans. They were mine. I think I bought them off eBay. I think I paid around 40 because they were new with tag. I only wore them once or twice, and then I accepted a $30 offer on Posh. So I'm losing maybe 10, 15 bucks on those. I'm not really losing. I guess I wore them a couple times, but I wish I could have worn them more times. All right. Are you protecting us? What's up there, bud? All right, so some Alegria, like, fisherman sandals. 
for $47 with discount ship on Poshmark. I had $6.25 into these. Those, I think maybe um, a large flat rate. Those are a size 42, which is kind of like, I think that's like 11 and a half or something women's size. So kind of a random size. I don't usually find any of that size. All right, CV, viewer sale. All right. <laughs> going out to Odalis. <laughs> um, free people top. This I thought would sell a lot quicker. I know free people is not like the best thing and I know there's a ton of it listed, but I just thought this was pretty. I just love embroidery. So yeah. it's a nice cream top with embroidery. Odalis bought this from us for $16.58 plus shipping. I think I had it in my eBay 50% off sale and I had paid originally five sixty five for that. So thank you so much, Odalis. Odalis, thank you so much for that support. Yeah, if that would have fit me, I definitely would have kept that. Um, Got our young one who dressed himself running across the street. <laughs> is that Connor? Sai. <laughs> he, he dressed himself? I didn't see him. Well, I, I got, we got him some, he's, he's right here. Hey, Sai. Hey, dude. <laughs> yeah, hi, <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I'll ship that out in a larger mailer because it's folded largely. Oh, Dallas, thank you again for all that <laughs> amazing support. All right, box. Oh, an Eleanor Rose dress. Let's see right here. So this has been listed a while. Um, it came from that JBF sale, I think well over a year ago at this point. I did have about $11 into it, sold it for $33.50, free shipping on Kitizen, and um, the shipping was only $4.15 on that. Did I get the bunny mailer? <laughs> All right. And AD, Matilda Jane. Where are you at? You're in here somewhere. This is one of those stuffed to the brim. I fall, fell down in the bottom. Huh? Yeah. All right. So new and tag Matilda Jane like little ruffle leggings. I sold for twenty one twenty one plus ship. I had five fourteen into those. Bunny mailer. Okay. Another viewer sale going up to Viviana. BC. Hi, Jake. Remember your alphabet? I have to sometimes. <laughs> All right. Uh, Viviana got a pair of Spanx leggings and then the tie-dye bands from Utah. Nice. So the Spanx I actually, again, had bought for myself. Um, I actually bought these from Anfisa. She was closing up all her shops a couple weeks ago. Oh, yeah. And I bought them hoping they would work, but I just didn't like how they fit me, so I relisted them. And then the Utah van. Oh, I had like 25 bucks into those because they were for me. Mm -hmm. And then these 12.50 um, from Play-Dohs in Utah. Viviana offered 65 and I was happy to accept. So thank you, Viviana. Viviana, thank you so much for all the amazing Thanks. support. <laughs> we appreciate it. Um, Reese, what are you doing? You trying to get in the trash? Nicely in a medium flat rate. Oh, Ooh. Yes. <laughs> okay. Lastly, AI. This was actually a really good sale. I thought these would take longer because they're a smaller size of women's six. Those play shoes from the women's flats from Utah paid $4, sold for $45 plus shipping on Facebook Marketplace. Very nice. Negative money now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think maybe we can use these by the end of the week. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Cool. Sweet. So I think, yeah, we'll go ahead and get this stuff all packed up. Since today's been kind of crazy, it's about 4.03. So we have 30 minutes to get this stuff to the post office. Yeah, that should be. So we'll check back in before we head over. All right, guys. Got our thumbnail set up as good as we can because we got to be at the post office in 10 minutes <laughs> or less. But got everything all packed up. No new sales came through. <laughs> yeah, out with the old and with the new inventory. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but that is going to do it for today. Reese is scratching himself. 
we're going to get going to the post office and call it a day. We have uh, a bunch of work to catch up on today because I feel like we've been running around all day and we really... say no shipping Saturday morning. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking we're, we might skip a video tomorrow, Saturday, right? I mean, maybe put one up, but not record one. Yeah, I'll put one up, but maybe not record a video tomorrow. That's what I meant. Uh, yeah. But I'll probably, I'll, I do have extra videos. I, well, I do have a video that I have to put up tomorrow. So, guys, thanks for watching. Thank you so much for all the amazing support. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.